night, Denver 7 Sam Pena is following up with residents still dealing with the frustrations. So while we learned that some of the water service returned, they're still having some serious issues. This is the sketch situation. It's another day of frustration for Charlotte Cornish. In the freezing cold with the snow, filling up a bucket. Since Monday, Charlotte and her neighbors at the Welton Park Apartments have been without water, hauling water jugs downstairs to fill with garden hoses. They are working their tails off to make sure that we get our water back, but they're working on a system that's working against them because this system was not built properly in the first place. Apartment management emailed residents saying water would return Tuesday, then Thursday and Friday, none of which came true. It's 417 right now. An hour ago, they just turned on our cold water back on. When it comes to the showers. Got nothing, nothing at all. They're bone dry. So I really don't know when my next shower is going to come. And still without hot water, residents are using their stoves to boil water for cleaning. And that will be for my dishes. In response, the apartment's owner, Graystar, has issued hotel vouchers to elderly residents and those with disabilities. Oh, I have to be out tomorrow. But after speaking to some of the residents who received the vouchers, they say they're not long enough since hot water won't be back until later in the week. They're hoping Wednesday those vouchers only go till Sunday. We reached out to Graystar, but have yet to hear back. In the meantime, Charlotte's faith is dwindling. You're exhausting all these people without addressing the actual problem. For Denver 7, I'm Sam Pena.